Hey, welcome back, guys. Mm -hmm. So, what we want to do now is to be able to search for items. So, we have a little search bar here. So, if I type some text, I want to be able to press enter and then be able to search for something. Currently, nothing happens if I try to do that. Okay, so we have to create a search thingy here. And also, uh, if you notice on certain pages, the search bar isn't really required. Where we really need the search bar is for the home page, uh, the shop page, because we want to be searching for products. Hmm? We don't need it on the, okay, maybe on the blog it will be required, but for us to search for blogs, yes. And then on the contact, Eh, not really required and so on so we're going to have to see which pages uh, the search bar should be shown okay because also on the checkout here we still see the search bar and that doesn't make much sense at all but uh, if you don't mind having the search bar on every single page uh, that's okay you can leave it be so let's see what we can do about the search itself so that we can start doing some actual searches. So go to your header here. This is inside views, eShop, header.php. So right inside header, we must look for the search bar, which is right about here. Mm -hmm. Search box, input, placeholder, search. Yes, yes. So right here, we want to put this inside a form so that it can actually submit. So let's type that. And then let me move my closing form tag below. And then tab that in. And make sure to put a method of get. Don't put post on this one. We want to use the get method. All right. So from the get yes that's all we need to put actually and also for us to be able to submit this we need to add a name to it so i'm going to name this one find like so so the input has a name and that's the one right there find okay i think we're looking good so let's go back here and refresh the page let me make sure i'm on the shop page here and then let me type something to find. So maybe I want to find a burger. There we go. Burger. Enter. Okay, so it looks like nothing has happened, but something did happen. If you look at the URL now, it has changed. There's a question mark, and then this find is equal to burger. And that's because we told you to use the get method, which deals with the URL. So all we need to do now is to be able to capture the, uh, this uh, thing we are searching for in there. So let's go to, okay, so where are we going? We go to the controller because we want to be able to capture that information. So what controller do we go to? Here we are on the shop page. So of course we're going to go to shop.php inside controllers. Okay. And since we don't have any parameters on the other side, it's going to come to the index page right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So at this point, I want us to... Uh, let's see what, what we have here. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, we want to capture what's inside the get variable. And of course, it's going to be inside the get like this. Get. Uh -huh. So we're going to use get uh, find like that. So at this point, we want to check if it is set. Wrong is set like that so if the find is set then uh, it means this is a search so let's do this okay and then so 
check if it's a search. Comment your code. It's good practice. You will stop commenting when you become very, very good, but since you're learning now, it's a good idea to actually do the commenting. And actually, here, I, I, I still need all of this, actually. The only part that will change is where we are reading the products because we want to read very specific products, right? But everything else remains the same. So let me just remove this L statement because we won't be needing it. So at this point, I'm going to call this one and say, um, maybe we just say, uh, let's put search at the top here and say search is equal to false. And then let's convert that to a true once we enter this location. That way we can just check for true or false. So search is equal to true. And then the variable find shall be set, which will be equal to whatever is inside this get variable. Okay, you can add slashes if you want some security, but it's not really required since we are using prepared statements but we can put it there nonetheless. So find add slashes, get find. Okay, great. So we just have to check if this is a search or not from now on. So where do we need that? It's right here on the query itself. So let's do that. Let's just say if search, right? And then I'm going to do that, but then I will duplicate this and take it to the other side, do an else like so. Okay, so if it says search, we do one query. If it's not, we do the other. So here, because we know it's actually a search, I am going to say, let's do this for a second here. Uh -huh. Though, you know, when you're doing it uh, this way, object-oriented, it's not a good idea to have queries directly in the controller. Uh, usually this is not good practice. The best practice is to have, to have very specific functions that read exactly what you want. But we're still going to do it right here anyway. So say select all from products where... Now this is where we tell it how to find something. So. I'm going to say where um, the column that we are looking for. So at this point, you might want to check your database and go to your products uh, section here so that you check which column we want to search. So usually people look for the description of an item. And I think that's probably the only thing that's searchable here since the slug is just like the description. Nobody cares about the URL address. So description it is then. So where description. Now, instead of using saying equals to like this description. Okay. Something like that. So instead of saying that, instead of equal, we're going to say like. So we use like to liken te uh, text, but then we don't want it to be exactly like, um, what's this, uh, the description, right? Because somebody would type a bit of text, it might not look exactly like what we're looking for, but we still want to be able to capture that. So. What I'm going to say is instead, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to put some wild cards like so. These percentages like that. So this is known as a wild card because you're telling it that. Let's say, for example, somebody is searching for the word um, home, for example. You're searching for home, right? So I want to be able to just type HO like this, and then it will search for every word, every description that has HO in it. So 
it will look this way. So if, for example, I put my wildcard here, what I'm telling it is that search for anything that starts with HO, but you don't care about the rest of the text. It can be anything. For as long as the beginning is like this, then it's all good. But then if you put the percent on the other side, what you're saying is you don't care what is at the beginning, as long as further down the line there's HO either at the beginning or somewhere at the end. Doesn't matter. But if you put them on both sides, then you're saying you don't really care what's on either side for as long as there's HO in the description, you are game. So this is what we're doing here. Okay, so now we have to supply the uh, description variable, of course. So here I will use an array and say array description be equal to whatever find is, right? And then I will get that array and comma, put it there. All righty then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this should actually do it. Mm -hmm. So if it's a search thing, we go this way. If it's not, we go that way. That should solve our problems for now. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to refresh this and oh, because there's already something we sent in there, find is equal to burger. So it's searching for burger. But now you have an error in your syntax. That's what it's telling me. All right. So I guess what I should have done, instead of uh, putting the percentages here, I should put the percentages as part of the variable. I've actually never done it this way before. So I've never used those uh, wildcards using prepared statements. So let's try and put them here instead. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So I'm going to concatenate those to the find in the beginning and in the end. So let's see what it says then. Mm -hmm. Let's refresh. Okay, and I got burger. Very nice. But let's see if the text is a little bit less than burger. Just B-U-R like that. Enter. Okay, I still get burger. Right, so let me remove the clear the search. Let's try something else. Vite Bix. Like that. Okay, I get it. So you see now uh, the search is working and that's how you use the search. It's that easy. Okay. So now the thing is the search box is all over the place, even on our checkout, even on the account everywhere. It's there. So it will also be important to know on what page are we so that we can know exactly. Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter because each page has a different controller. So depending on what's happening there, that's what we're going to search for. So it's not really a big deal to know on what page we are on, the controller will know. So here, what we need to do though, is to make this disappear and only appear on the pages that we want. So for now, it's the home page and the shop page and probably the blog that sounds okay. So I think these ones, home, shop, and blog. Uh -huh. Even though we don't have a controller for blog yet. So let's see how we can uh, go about uh, doing that exactly. Mm -hmm. So what I want is to be able to add a few, um, what's the word? Uh, to add, okay. Let's go back here for a second. Mm -hmm. So remember that if we go to core here, we have functions.php, right? So this is where we put all the functions that we don't really need to put inside classes. So we can put those functions in here. So for example, here, I want to, uh, Let's see for a second here. Let's create a function that would tell us 
if um, we are allowed to show the search on that page, right? So I'm just going to call this one show show search, just uh, something simple like that, right? And then show search. We're going to collect uh, a variable here called uh, what do we get here? Mm -hmm. I guess we need the controller name. Okay, maybe we can uh, simplify things even a little bit more than this. Let's do something much easier than creating a function. I've changed my mind. Let's go to uh, the header itself right here. So what I'm just going to do is I am going to put an if statement here. I just want to say if is set. Do not forget those PHP tags. Yeah. So if is set show search like that mm -hmm. and show search is equal to true like this mm -hmm. actually if it's set is enough we don't even need to go that far so all i'm going to do is here and close that and then down here i'm going to just end this if and if yes like so uh -huh. very nice so if it is set then show it now if i go and refresh you see that i don't see the search bar on all of these pages which is uh very nice so let's go back home or shop either way and then on these now on the home shop and blog what I would do is just create a variable. That's all. So I will go to my shop. And right here before I go to here, I'm just going to say data show search. I'm going to just set it to true for no reason because true or false are simple values. I will remove the dollar sign there. And that should do it. So on the shop, I expect to see the search. There we go, but not on the home page. Okay, that is good. So I just need to do exactly this on the home page. So let's go to controller home right there, down there, show search, true, refresh. There we go. So when we do create a uh, blog controller, we're going to add that as well. But for now, this is uh, good. Now we can search for items. Let's try that on the home page. Unfortunately, it will not work here, I think. Yeah, like I said, it didn't work there. And that's because we don't have the search thingy here. So I'm just going to do this. Copy that onto the home page as well, because it's a similar idea. Exactly what's here is exactly what will be on the other one. So copy that. Let's go to the home page and let's refer let's replace that with that. And now if I do refresh the home page, I do get a searched item. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. We are doing well. All right, so let's see each other in the next video where we do some more stuff here to improve the navigation. All right, see you then.